Well, Captain, uh, as people were speaking <laughs> on, on, on parks, uh, people were also speaking in courts. <laughs> Let's do a quick review of the cases in court uh, as for As for the court, virtually every day mm -hmm. there are cases. Mm -hmm. There's no single day that there's no, if the court shuts, then it means we are in trouble. Absolutely. So yesterday, you can see on your screen there, that is Captain Adel. Mm -hmm. And that they noticed that sometime on the 4th of July, there was a news that uh, the court has issued a bench warrant for the arrest of a military officer mm -hmm. whom the police had said that they have tried everything as they could, mm -hmm. but they were not able to get him. In fact, sending wireless messages to the armed forces to get him on board, but that also refused. So that led to the court presided over by uh, his honor, Mr. Samuel uh, Bright Aqua, to issue a bench warrant. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, the military, after here and getting to know of this information produced a man in white that is the accused person, the second accused person to the court. And one of the things that they said, they were as actually worried about the kind of uh, presentation that was made to the court. They mm -hmm. said the police misled the court because at no point in time did they receive any wireless message from the police indicating that they want this very man in court. Really? So, yes. So upon okay. social media and then traditional media publication, they got to know, so they have brought the man. If as high-ranking members within the, 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 the army led and then brought him to court. And the bench warrant was eventually uh, rescinded. And his plea was taken in relation to conspiracy and the other, the substantive uh, charge is mm -hmm. defrauding by fourth written, absolutely, okay. involving some recruitment uh, issues, mm -hmm. involving 136,000 Ghana cities and all that. But he pleaded not guilty, and he was given um, a self-recognizance bill, so a bill that you have to execute it on your own. Nobody will have to come and execute it for you. But yesterday, um, let's listen to his lawyer, uh, lawyer uh, Dr. Uh, Jamal Tonzoa, who represented him and made uh, convinced the court to be able to rescind that bill condition, uh, that uh, bench warrant which was issued for his arrest. The, bench warrant, the purpose of the bench warrant was, but as we booked the bench warrant, the purpose of the bench warrant was to ensure that uh, if we get Captain Nadi, uh, the second accused person in the case, to uh, assist the police with investigations and to come to stand trial. And so since we brought him to court today, that saved the purpose of the bench warrant. And so my application to the court, my prayer to the court was that the warrant should be revoked. And thankfully the judge uh, saw reason that it has revoked uh, the bench warrant. You never knew about uh, this in between. Yeah, so that was uh, yes, counsel for absolutely. the Jamel, captain. Yeah. Uh, Tonzoa. So he prayed the court to revoke or rescind the bench warrant, which was dealt with. So on the 18th of July, mm -hmm. they will come back to court to deal with whatever the court will have to deal with. So that is in relation to this very case. So this is what happened yesterday. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So let's look at some of the cases coming up today. Namwan is back in court? Yes. So today, it's more like a fate day for Namwan. So mm -hmm. the court is making the determination as to whether or not prosecution, after calling uh, nine witnesses, have been able to establish a prima facie evidence for which reason now one ought to mount the witness box to respond to 39 counts. So today, prosecution, after calling their witness, the court will have to examine on the face of it to look at whether or not there's any question at all for number one to answer mm. in relation to that. So Justice Ernest Ousu Dapa, a justice of the Court of Appeal, who is sitting with additional responsibility as a high court judge today, will make that determination. So number one will know his feet. If the court finds that there's a prima facie, Naman will be ordered to mount a witness box and open his defense. But if the court is of the view that nothing at all has been said which will require the court to call on him to answer, Naman will be freed. So that is what he is expecting to, uh, the court is expecting to do today in relation to this very case involving the men's good or defunct men's good. Okay. Uh, the next case, the Cecilia Dapers case. Yes. So the aspect of the OSV. It's gone. Right. Uh, yes. So now the aspect of the May, which actually brought about this whole hula balloon, mm -hmm, is mm -hmm. on. So, in fact, the husband of Madame Cecilia Dapa uh, is the one facing cross examination. But at some point in time, Patient Bouchi, the man, the lady in scarf over there, okay. his law, her lawyers, in fact, have filed a motion. And what they are seeking is for the court to compel the office of the special prosecutor to produce or to give them interrogations that they had with Madame Cecilia Dapa and the mm -hmm. husband, interviews that they had with them, and all caution statements that they took from them. Mm -hmm. They wanted 
to be able to confront the husband and Madame Sitita that Dapa herself when she mounted the witness box as part of also telling their case or defending themselves. So today, Justice Marie Louise Simmons, criminal, criminal court two, mm -hmm. would listen to that particular application and make a determination as to whether or not to uh, make a, a call or make an order for the OSP to do that. So that is what we do expect in relation to this very matter. So patients, Butchie, and her lawyers are saying that they want some document from the Office of the Special Prosecutor, and the court will be listening to that motion today. Hmm. Anas versus Nyantichi. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a case that Justice Marie Simmons, again, in fact, at a point in time, threatened to discharge uh, Mr. Nyantichi. Uh, following the Anas number two of expose, Nyantichi was charged, and the court made an order for a nice one mask to Nyantichi in chambers. Mm -hmm. Then he will come to court, sit in open court, masked, and testify. And I said, no, his security is at stake. Mm -hmm. And so prosecution is challenging that order, that, that's a ruling, at the court of appeal. And so they are waiting for that. That is what has stalled the case. So today, Justice Marie, Lu Marie Louise Simmons will be uh, taking an update by way of mm -hmm. prosecution, updating the court, what has become of with the appeal. They have challenges earlier transmitting the document to the court of appeal. But at the last court sitting, the court said that virtually everything was done and it was just left about uh, putting them together mm -hmm. and sending. So today, there will be an update in relation to what has become of the appeal, whether the court of appeal has heard it and the outcome of it. So that is what we do expect in relation to this Nyanteji announced case in which the number 12 expose led to Nyanteji being banned from football. Okay, uh, let's move on to Oliver and Yes. The so, when you mention Oliver, there are two cases that you can avert your mm -hmm. mind to. The one in relation to the treason felony, and then the one that Kandapa. the National Security mm -hmm. <laughs> Minister, Minister Abel Kandapa, and this is it. So that's Abel Kandapa and Dr. Justice Shremsai, that's the counsel for Oliver Parker. So today they are the Supreme Court, and the exercise at the Supreme Court is simple. The Supreme Court will be hearing an application. Initially, they filed a request. They are asking the court to ask, uh, as it were, Ask Albert Kandapa to respond to some 17 questions of facts, mm -hmm. which, if done, will open the court's eyes to what the application for um, that defamation suit that he's filed is. Mm -hmm. Albert Kandapa says that because of security reasons and confidentiality mm -hmm. associated with his ministry, he's unable to respond to the 17 questions. And the lawyers are saying, no, if you say that, that is not fair. So we're going to the Supreme Court to compel you to answer those questions. So that is what is before the Supreme Court. And today, the APS Court will be looking at that particular, as to whether or not Albert Kandapa is to answer to that 17 question, which will open the court eye to the substantive matter before it. So that's what we do expect mm. in relation to this very case. Finally, the, the case with the highest number of witnesses <laughs> at the Beige Bank case. Yes. Uh, the 19th witness is expected today. Absolutely. Mm. So today we expect the witness to appear before Justice Ifia Sewa Sarebuchi, also Justice of the Court of Appeal who's sitting with additional responsibility as a high court judge. I told you about mm. the fact at the last court sitting, the court said, look, all intents and purposes Everything before the court now is amount to up to 29 witnesses. So 19 will come in today. If by Friday you not find the remaining, then consider it close. You will not have that opportunity again. So that's a, right. that was a clear warning from Justice Ifia Sewa Sarebuchi. Then, but today, Sewa's then, namesake. Yes, Sewa's namesake. <laughs> I don't know how often you have been to her court. Too. Oh, I've I've had personal um, yeah, yeah, of, encounters absolutely. with her. Yeah. Yeah. She's, she's, she's she's also a she's lecturer. A very, actually, yeah, she's she a lecturer. She teaches a lot of yeah. and those who have encountered her will always tell you that she's a hard. She's woman. a hard woman. <laughs> <laughs> so today, anyway, that case will be before her. I will know what happened later in the day. Okay, yes. Captain, thank you very much. Thank you to As the always, deal. We'll catch you on the flip side. Sure. That's it for court today.